Hello and today this is Shane the Child of Gidget Lover here and today um well last week well actually it's nearly been two weeks ago now I did show all my uh, BBC VHS releases but now we're going to be doing all the um, DVDs as well now I haven't got as many as I did with the VHS tapes but I do have a good fair amount here uh, this will probably be a couple of parts I'm not going to say it will be many um, and before I start this video not all of these DVDs well, all these DVDs in here I've tried to put as many as I can released by the BBC themselves and some of these will be to detained. But um, some of these other DVDs will be released by other companies but where BBC series if that makes any sense. So without any further ado let's get a move on. So the first DVD I've got to show here is The Complete Forty Towers. I'm going to go through all the box sets first. Uh, this doesn't have a sleeve to go with it so yeah this is a 2 entertained release uh, from a BBC from 2005. Uh, I just recently got this for Christmas. This is a very, very funny series. Um, you've probably all seen it already because, you know, Forty Towers is, is the legend in comedy. Um, it didn't come with disc 3, unfortunately, but it does come with discs 1 and 2, which is the episodes. And to me, that's really all that matters because I think disc 3 was the special features, which I'm ashamed it doesn't come with it. But as long as I've got the two discs that have the episodes in it, then that's absolutely fine. At least I have this on DVD, and then that's fine. I have all of them on video as well. But it's good to have it on DVD as well, so I'm not really that bothered. The next one uh, is Bottom, the complete series 1 to 3, uh, with Rick Mail and Adrian Anderson. God bless, God bless uh, Rick Mail's soul. Uh, this is also from 2005. I recently just got this. I got this in January, so you probably have seen this in one of my recent um, VHS updates. I did used to have um, Bottom series 1 by itself, but I got rid of it cause, quite recently because I've got it in here now. So here's a series one here, and this is this is probably the only bottom series that I've seen all the way through. But it is really really funny. Um, and then I've advertised another BBC DVDs, and this is just released by the BBC themselves. Um, series two, which I've seen half of series two because uh, I've got um, bigger on VHS, which is the only bottom video I have at the moment. And CD3, which was actually released by 2 Entertain, which is why the box set's released by 2 Entertain. Which, I've never seen CD3 all the way through yet, but I will get around to watching that at some point, and the rest of the CDs too, so it'll be fun, fun, fun. And I'll get this back in the case later. Uh, next one, you have seen this in my David Jason uh, videos, VHS slash DVD uh, collection, um, birth, of the video, birth of the video that I did a couple of weeks ago. And uh, now I'm showing it here. Uh, this is the complete Only Frozen and Horses series 1 to 7, uh, which is BBC and 2 Entertain. Um, yeah, this is actually a really, really legendary series, obviously. And again, you probably all, you probably have seen this as well, because, you know, it's a really, really popular comedy. Uh, so here's series 1. They all come in this um, thin case here. Uh, series 2 Series 3 which is the last um, series to have um, Uncle Albert on it and this just goes double sided Yeah, this is the last series to feature Uncle Albert as well before he passed away with uh, Leonard Pierce And series 4 was the first series to feature Buster Manifield, which is obviously Uncle Albert I'm a boomerang. I always come back I think that's what you said. I haven't seen this Only Fills and Horses in a long, long, long time. I need to definitely get this rewatched. Uh, series 5. Uh, yeah, Series 5. I was just checking something. And Series 5 is actually the only disc to have the PG in colour as well. You can't tell on the camera, but that PG is coloured. Um, CD6, which this time it comes on two discs, and it's got the new PG, PG certificate on it as well. And finally, CD7. Again, it comes on two discs and got one of the PG certificates. For some reason on the discs though, the PG seems to be going into off the, the edge, and it seems to be going in here now. I really, really don't know why that is. 
Uh, next box set is Some Others Do Have Them, um, with obviously Michael Crawford. Um, this is just used by the BBC themselves. Uh, this is from 2013, and this is a really, really good series as well. This is really, really funny. One of Michael Crawford's um, best things that he's ever done. Uh, does see the three Nicholas specials. I'm just going through these in reverse order for some reason. Uh, I did used to have the Christmas specials in the individual DVD, but I got rid of it because I got it in here now. And series one and two, which I did used to have um, series one and two both on DVD as individuals, but I got rid of them. Then my copy of series one was actually released by Second Sights, but now I've got it in here, and I did have that as well, but I've got rid of them both now, because I've got them in these two. And the final box set I've got to show is... Now, this isn't a comedy, it's a drama. Um, Peaky Blinders, the complete series 1 and 2. Um, which I've never actually seen this yet. I got it, though, so I could watch it, because I really, really want to see this for a while. So I'm looking forward to getting this watched. Series 1 is rated 15, and series 2 is rated 18, so series 2 will be a bit more uh, gory. And there's both the discs in there. I did show this recently in my Christmas um, vid VHS update as well. Well, Christmas last year, year um, update. So I didn't show it that long ago. My disc two seems to be coming out. I like the fact too as well that um, how in series one the foot contains strong language, violence, sex, and a suicide, suicide attempt. And I haven't really put anything for the 18, it just says what it usually says, suitable for persons who are 18 years and over, so I'm quite surprised that they never put anything, uh, any warnings in that, but they did in the 15, um, in series 1. Uh, so that's um, all the box sets, and now we're moving on to the individual DVDs. Uh, the first one of which is Great Comedy Moments, over 40 minutes of your favourite BBC comedy shows. Um, this was released in uh, 2001. It's a very, very, very early BBC DVD release. Uh, yeah, very, very early. I also have this on um, VHS as well. And there's a um, thing inside as well. The best of BBC comedy on DVD. I've got all of them. Uh, I've got them. Um, is there any more? I think that's it. And there's a competition as well that you can win £250, £250 on uh, BBC goodies, plus 100 runner-up prizes, with a uh, Basel 40 there. And there's the chapter points for the, the DVD. Uh, next one is another Only Fossil and Horses DVD, um, to Holland Back, which is the uh, 1985 uh, Christmas special. And this is from 2001 as well. Uh, promotional copy only, not for resale. And there's a disc itself there. Next one, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's The Young One, Series 1. A great comedy with Rick Bell, Adrian Emerson, Nigel Planner, um, Christopher Ryan and Alex Sale. Um, yeah, this is a really, really good good series as well. I love the young ones as well. It's really, really funny. And fun fact about this, I got this DVD in 2014, and I bought it the day um, before Brick Mail actually passed away. So that was quite a coincidence when I bought it at the time. Um, so, yeah. Um, but this is a really, really good series as well, so I'm really happy to get this on DVD. I've had this for about six years now, so, well, nearly, coming up to six years, it'll be six years in June that I've had this. But yeah, uh, there's the disc. Uh, next one is, <clears throat> sorry, just glued in my throat. Next one is Black Under Christmas Carol, um, which is from 2002. This was a really, really funny Christmas special. I have seen this on BBC Two as well. It is a very, very funny special. Um, and there's the chapter points in there. Uh, there's this. There's the disc itself as well. The next two I actually did get just over the weekend. Um, the weekend just there. So these are two new DVDs that I recently got. Um, you will see this, see this in my next VHS DVD update as well. But I'm going to show you them here first because I like 
I love, I love, I love you all, guys. So here we go. Um, the best of Monty Python Slime Circus volumes one and two. Um, yeah, I just literally got these over the weekend, just passed. So I've only had these for two days. But since I'm doing this, I thought show them anyway, not to be sold separately. And I, I wouldn't be that silly by buying them separately. And here's the chapter points in there. And here's a uh, volume two as well. Um, I'm probably gonna have to do um Monty Python um update at some point though, just showing all my Monty Python um stuff that I got. Because I do like Monty Python as well, so you know I've won't have I probably will do that at some point actually. And there's the chapter points in there as well. Now the next two DVDs are actually children's DVDs, and the first one of which is Robbie the Reindeer Collector's Edition in Hooves of Fire and Legend of the Lost Tribe, featuring the voices of Alan Hallen, Jane Horlick, Steve Cook, and Jeff Goldblum, and many others. Uh, this was part of one of the comic glue specials. Um, I did see Hooves of Fire years and years and years ago when I was a kid, and I absolutely loved it. It was one of my favourite um, specials. Um, yeah, you do get these two DVDs as individual releases as well, but I won't need them um, after this because they've got both of the specials on here, so I'm happy with that. And there's the disc itself there, and the chapter points. Next one is a really, really, really good series, and this is probably one of my favourite children's programmes of all time. Little Robots, hooray, let's build and play. Future in the voices of Lenny Henry, Martin Clunes, Mel and Sue, and many more. Heaps of fun, stacks of songs, and loads of fun. And this was a CBB series. This is from 2003. I absolutely loved the series when I was a kid. It was one of my favourite children's programmes of all time. I absolutely loved it. It was so good. I'm just ashamed that it isn't on CBBS anymore because it was a really, really good programme. It features the episodes Robot Race Day, Knock Knock, Scary Scary, Noisy's New Song, Stretchy and a Twist, The Heck of Lots, and the bonus episode to DVD, The Sound of Music. I used to have the VHS release of this as well, but I think I got rid of it, but I don't know why I did. I mean, I'm going to try and see if I can get it again. When did I buy this? Uh, the 3rd of December 2014, so I bought this about six years ago. And the chapter points in there, and there's an advert inside advertising little robots books. And this here is going to be interesting that I've got to show you as well. Um, there's a colouring page in here as well, if I have to take this out. There's a colouring page where you can colour in uh, scary, tiny and sporty. And there's an advert for the toys as well for um, stripey, scary, messy and tiny. Um, sporty, play figure. And a uh, little robot's uh, Lego Duplo set as well. So that's actually quite interesting, yeah. I mean, I've never bothered colouring in this shape. I might do it at some point, you know, just be a kid again and colour in because, you know, it, it's my DVD as well, after all, so I could do whatever I want with it, and it is a really good. It will be good fun to do as well. Uh, next one is Only Fools and Horses, Mother Nature's Son, the classic future length episode. Uh, which is the 1992 Christmas special. Um, yeah, you have seen this recently in my VHS update and in my David Jason update. So this is about the third time I've showed you this now. Um, but, yeah, um, got the chapter points in there. And there's, there's the disc itself. Uh, next one is Monkey Dust Series 1. Uh, which is actually an animated comedy series. I have never actually seen this, so I don't really have that much to talk about it. It's sort of like a comedy drama by the looks of it. By the looks of it, it looks like something to do with drugs or something. Uh, a cutting-edge comedy animation painted a, fabu a fabulously um, wrapped, um, warped, um, star, star, star show version of Britain, I think it says. Uh, this is from 2004. Yeah, I've never actually seen this series, so I haven't really got that much to say about it. And the final DVD that I've got to show for this part is The Little Polar Bear, the complete series one, based on the books by Hans and Beer, uh, featuring magical, 13 magical episodes, plus an exclusive to DVD episode, a fun game, and a picture gallery. 
Uh, this is from 2004. This is a really, really good animated series as well, which is really, really good. Um, the very, there were two very first releases of this. One released in 1994 and the other one released by in 2004, which was this. The one from 1994 was obviously the Ice Flow. Uh, I don't have it on video though, although I do have some of some episodes on the BBC Children's Compilations. There's an advert advertising Teletubbies, Tweenies, Fimbles and Balamori. And this is the disc itself there, with uh, Peeps and Snogus and Lads the Polar Bear there. So that's it for part one, and I'll see you for part two.